The Elder Scrolls Online with controller support on Steam OS. Yes, it is possible and I'll tell you how in just a minute. But for now, just have a look at how well this actually performs beyond the initial installation annoyance. Getting well over 90 frames per second in a lot of the combat here and full high settings as well. So capping this at 60 frames per second will give you a super smooth experience. We are getting a bit of frame stutter, but a bit more on that in a minute as well. This was running on Proton Experimental, and if you use Proton GE720 or above, then you will get rid of most of those jitters, and it will be a lot smoother experience. So how do we get this running? First of all, you're going to need a couple of extra commands, and thanks to those on ProtonDB that have figured this one out. We need proton underscore enable underscore mbapi equals one and also proton underscore set underscore game underscore drive equals one as you will have some problems with the install which you'll see in a minute if that's not there and the percent command percent just to make sure that gets run and I installed this under proton experimental although this should also work on GE 718 or above and you can see I was using the official controller layout. Now when you first launch this, it will start the install anywhere process and then go to a black screen. This took a while of figuring out, but eventually it was very simple. To get rid of this black screen and progress the installation, all you need to do is bring up the keyboard and hit enter. That's simple. You can try and tap the OK button down the bottom somewhere, but you also risk changing the language doing that. So safest method is to bring up the keyboard and hit enter. After that, it will take you to the installer. And if you didn't put that Proton set game equals one, instead of the install drive showing correctly here, it will show the long path and that you don't have enough space. So if you do get this red error on the install path, make sure you've got that set game. Make sure you've got that set game drive command in place. Now this will take a little bit to install and will most likely crash back to the Steam home screen once it's finished this phase, but don't worry, it did actually complete. So once it crashes back to the home screen, just start it back up again. This time when you launch, it will go through the update process. Now, if you are lucky, this will complete without issues. If you are unlucky after it's done the initial update, you will get another error. Now this seems to be a particular problem on those with Google Wi-Fi like me, but it may also be an issue for others. So if you see this unable to load app list command, you need to either figure out how to get this to work through your firewall or do what I did and switch to a mobile hotspot. So this seems to be an issue with the Steam Deck and certain Wi-Fi that some of these games are getting blocked from connecting to the servers, whereas it doesn't seem to be an issue on mobile hotspots. So once I switched over to the hotspot, I did get a minor update which was around 90 meg. Fortunately, my mobile hotspot speed is pretty good, so this didn't take very long, and then it will take you into the servers. Now, it is worth noting you will need to navigate either with a touchscreen or using the mouse commands because the launcher and the first game menus do not support controller. So you will need to use those, and you can't change the settings from the launcher menu where you've got your character you have to wait until you're in game. So the first thing you wanna do once you've actually loaded up the game is call up the menu. So you need to use the escape key for this and this is the Steam button and the left D-pad together if you don't know that already and come into gameplay and then scroll down to gamepad and turn gamepad mode to on or automatic. Once that's on, your controller will kick in and you'll now be able to use that layout as long as you left it on the default from the start or obviously you can choose one of the community layout. Now as you see there is the occasional stutter, controller is working perfectly fine but on Proton Experimental you will get the occasional lag spikes because of the untested DXVK. So if you want to get rid of those spikes, cap it at 60 frames per second and also use Proton GE 18 or above. GE Proton 20 is working extremely well at the moment, so I would recommend using that one if you haven't got it already. And now you can enjoy the Elder Scrolls Online to your heart's content. Now, if you are going to continue to use the hotspot, obviously make sure that you have a decent data plan. If you have managed to find a way to get this to work through standard Wi-Fi or what the workarounds for that is, please let us know because we've seen this in a few other games and we'd really like to be able to put that as part of our guides. If you do manage to come across that and we can find it working, we will pin the comment here for others in future. 
There we have it, there's the Elder Scrolls Online working perfectly on Steam AOS with well over 60 frames per second, super smooth. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here to play us out, but thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.